being so famous. All right, the second most common question I get asked is, hey, Ronnie, what do your parents think about this? What do your parents think about what you do? Are your parents okay with you doing stand-up comedy? Inoculous enough question. But the insinuation behind it is downright racist. <laughs> right, you only ask me that because I'm Chinese. You never ask these other white comedians that question because you know that parents don't give a fuck about them. I don't know if Asian people are overlooked in America a little bit. That's too big a call for me to make, seeing as how I'm a fucking foreigner and I might be biased. But I do know that when Iraq said that they had no nuclear weapons, America was like, yeah, you do. We're gonna invade you until we find them. And they're still there. But when North Korea said, not only do we have nuclear weapons, we wanna launch them at America to kill all of you. America was like, no, you don't. You don't. Not only do we not believe you slash don't give a fuck, we're gonna make movies taunting you. <laughs> Just daring you to launch one of those babies over. And those movies are the only roles we're gonna give Asian people in our country. <laughs> I don't know what it's like to be a minority Asian, because I come from Asia. We're all Asian over there, all right? <laughs> I don't know what it's like to be like a minority. I, I encountered Asian stereotypes for the first time. When I moved to America, never encountered Asian stereotypes before until I left Asia. And no idea why people were saying that shit about us. No idea you guys were talking shit behind our backs. All these Asian stereotypes, like Asian people are good at math. I didn't know that. In Asia, we're all good at math. I didn't know that was a skill set. I didn't know square rooting seven was difficult. I just did it. <laughs> just did it again in my head. For fun. That's how I entertain myself in between jokes. There's so much going on up here. Or oh, the other Asian stereotype. Asian people are bad drivers. I didn't know that. In Asia, we drive, we crash, we get into another car, then we continue on. Right? That's how we get from A to B. Right? What are you talking about? Or the biggest stereotype, or should I say the smallest stereotype? Asian people have small things. <laughs> I didn't know that. Asian people have small dicks. I have nothing to compare it to. Who the fuck measured enough dicks to get a large enough sample size to reduce your standard deviation down to an acceptable margin of error? That's what I want. Right? That's a little math joke threw in there. That's all the comedy we do in Asia, just math jokes. That's what we, do. we have just for math, that's what we do. I got news for you people, all right? I got news for you guys. There's more of me and my kind of race than any other race on the planet. Okay, you know what that means? That means we are the majority. We dictate what is normal behavior. So all that shit, bad driving, small digs, good at math, even if that was true, guess what, that'd be normal. Because right? there's more of us than anyone else on the planet, we dictate what is normal behavior. I could drive down the goddamn street with my feet on the steering wheel, dancing to Gundam Star if I wanted to, all right? And if all of us did it, guess what, that would become the correct way to drive. All right, and it's you guys, all right, eating your potatoes, wearing your filthy shoes in the house, and your big dicks, you guys are the weirdos, okay? Freaks. Thanks for listening. I'll see you guys there. Thanks a lot. Coming up, Australia's own Celia Pacuola, Jimmy Carr, and a standing ovation for Hughie.